Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shauna Mahoney and today I'm going to be doing just a little chatty get ready with me. Um, I don't think I've ever done like, I mean, all my makeup videos seem to be really, really long because I am kind of chatty. So I guess I've done a chatty get ready with me before, but um, I just wanted to do my makeup. I felt like doing my makeup and um, I thought I might as well just film it since I'm doing it anyway. So that's what I did. So if you want to see how I got this little makeup look, it's just basically like a khaki olivey lid with like a rosy crease. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing over the top or anything or revolutionary, but if you're interested on in how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've used my ColourPop eyeshadows pretty much every single day since I got them because upon the discovery that those things dry out, I've been really just trying to get my use out of them. Um, a really good, a really nice subscriber did tell me though that um, she heard that if you add MAC Fix Plus to it, when they've dried out that it revives them or something like that. So it's a really awesome tip and I'm going to definitely try that when my first ones start to dry out. But um, anyway, I just want a break from my ColourPop eyeshadows. So um, I decided today I'm going to use my MAC shadows. I haven't used my MAC shadows in a long time. So um, not really sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I want to use some of these olive -y colors here. I've got Sumptuous Olive and um, Green Smoke from MAC that I like hardly ever use and I want to get some use out of those so I'm probably going to use some of those um, and yeah so let's go ahead and just get started I'm going to start with um, my brows because I already have my base on because I just I'm filming a video on my bulletproof foundation routine so um, my base is already done so I'm going to start with the um, the brow product here this Korean one Chosunga Dongong Min um, I'm just trying to get used to using this because I do like the fact that the applicator, a comb, or brush, and product is all in one little thing. So I think once um, I get used to using the product, I have to scooch this in. It'll it'll be easier. It'll be better. And I'll speed through this because we've already done this. Okay, so now I'm gonna prime the lids with this concealer. This is I'm still working on the same thing that I picked up from DHC when we were in Tokyo. And I'm just trying to use this sucker up, man, and it's just lasting forever. And I'm blending that out with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And before that starts to crease, I'm going to take whatever's left on this powder brush from when I powdered my under eyes earlier. And I'm just going to kind of pat that over that um, concealer just to kind of set it. Okay, so on to shadow. What do I want to do? I'm going to start off with, um, actually no, I'm going to start with vanilla right here. It's just a pale, sat it's a satin finish, but it's just a pale kind of cream color. And I'm going to highlight the brow bone. And more than that, it's just going to give something... Um, it's just something for the other colors to blend into. I usually like to start lighter and go darker. Some people like to start with the darker and blend out with lighter. Um, either or. I do either, but for now I'm just going to start with the lightest color. Then, with a just fluffy blending brush, this is a MAC 224 brush, I'm going to take soft brown right here. It's just a really pale brown and it's got a little bit of just a very, very slight hint of rosiness to it. And I'm going to put that up in the crease to act as our transition shade. Oh, Mac, how I've missed you. I feel like it's been forever since I've used my Mac shadows. I love them. So how have you guys been lately? Good. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you probably have sussed out that I don't have much of a life. Um, I did end up have to, having to quit my job, actually, though, because um, it was just too much. Going to school full-time and working full-time was so hard. And um, I'm very fortunate that my husband was supportive of the whole thing. He... Well, he's kind of at the point where he wants me to just hurry up and finish school and get it over with because he's not really happy where he's at right now. So um, the sooner he can leave there, the better. And so the sooner I'm done with school and can start really getting my career going, 
the better. So we decided that I was just going to quit my job and just start taking more and more, more classes. And, and that's what I'm doing, just to graduate earlier. So soft brown is such a like barely there color. It's just really, really great for transitioning because it just provides just such a nice starting point for blending, you know what I mean? Anyway, so outside of school, I really don't have much of a life, you guys. My husband travels all the time for work. Um, he was in Tokyo last fall. Last summer, the whole summer he was in Mexico, got back for a little while, went straight to Tokyo, was there the whole time, came back for a little bit like around Christmas time, and then he left again for Azerbaijan. And I've never even heard of that place, but that's where he went um, for a while. He was working for a couple months. And then um, I'm going to use Swiss chocolate here. It's a little bit deeper, and it's, it's a little bit of a rosier brown too. So um, same brush. I'm just going to use that. Stick it through my crease, but just... Um, lay it over top of kind of where we put the last color, the soft brown color. Um, anyway, so my husband's gone all the time. So other than school, when he's not here, I don't really do much except go to the dog park. Because um, we take our dogs regularly. They need this particular breed. We've got Siberian Huskies and they need a lot of exercise. So um, I do walk them and I do take them out on the bikes also, but um, sometimes the bikes are just a pain, you know. So, um, and I can't run fast enough to get their heart, heart rates up. So it's just easier sometimes to take them to the dog park because they can just run as fast as they want to and play with all the other dogs. Um, and then we can go, you know, I can go at my pace. I usually jog laps around or something like that. Um, and I do have some dog park friends because you start to see the same people over and over, you know. This is uh, Urban Decay Eyeliner in Demolition, which is just a really deep brown. And I'm going to put a little bit along the bottom lash line here. And I'm doing one eye at a time because the stuff does set. So it's creamy enough that I could move it around for a little while. But then when, it's, when it sets, it sets. It is staying put. And I'm also going to put it on the top lash line and I'm just kind of concentrating it in the center because I kind of want to have that depth peeking through a bit. So I'm just going to like just smudge this around sloppily. It doesn't have to be neat at all. But I just want that depth around along the lash line to kind of come through, you know. So anyway, I do spend a lot of time at the dog park and you start seeing the same people at the park all the time the more you go. So I've kind of developed my little circle of dog park friends. But sometimes, like during school, like not long ago, um, I just couldn't get anything done at home when the dogs hadn't been out because they just start bothering me and barking and I can't get anything done. So sometimes I'll take my reading with me to the dog park. Um, and one time we were there and whenever I've got reading to do, and I don't want to like really socialize with anybody, um, I'll go and sit way far out on a table, like at the very, very back where nobody ever goes, just to, um, sorry, I'm taking uh, Sumptuous Olive here by MAC on a flat uh, eye shading E55 brush. So anyway, when I don't really want to be bothered and I've got a lot of work to do, I'll just go and sit way far in the back on one of those tables with my headphones in, my book in front of me, I've got my don't bother me demeanor on, if you know what I mean. And like not long ago, I was sitting there trying to get some reading done and I see this old guy like limping in my direction. And he looked like that guy that was in the old, um, the Quaker Oats oatmeal commercials and he was in some diabetes commercials. If you've got diabetes, you know what I'm talking about? He's like an old actor. He looks like that guy. I forget his name. I, I don't know his name, but um, he looks like that guy. So he's like limping over to me, and I'm thinking, oh, please don't sit here. I've got work to do. I can't get anything done. And he did. He comes, and he walks over, and he sits down right in front of me, and he says, um, I won't bother you. I just have to send a text really quick, and my knee's bothering me, so I'm just going to sit down real quick, you know, and, and send this text. And I'm like, sure, okay. 
So he sends this text or whatever, and then he doesn't leave. So he's like sitting there, like watching me read, and it was making me uncomfortable, you know? And then, um, so because I have my headphones in, he starts like going like this to like get my attention. So I pull the headphones out, and I'm like, yeah? And he goes, can I just ask you one question? And I'm like, okay. And he goes, does the weather ever get bad here? And I'm like, it's just a matter of opinion, isn't it? He's like, see, the thing is, is I've got really bad joints. And I moved out here from Missouri, and I lived on a farm. And it's really cold out there, and it's bad for my joints. Besides, what I do for a living, it's too risque for the Bible Belt. And I'm like, oh, what is this dude going to say to me? And he's like baiting me to ask him, and I'm not asking. I don't want to know, you know. So I'm like, dude, whatever. I don't, I don't want to know. Now I'm taking this, um, it's like a really shimmery, olivey green in green smoke. It's It's got a lot more like glitter to it and I'm just gonna lay this over top of the sumptuous olive. Um, so anyway, I didn't ask. I'm like, bro, I don't wanna know. Whatever, man. And then he tells me anyway. He's like, see, I write books about sex. And then he starts reaching in his pocket to like hand me something and he pulls out his business card and he hands it to me and I'm looking at it and it says, Sex Wow. Words of Sexual Wisdom by Forald Weymouth, like world famous. Forald Weymouth, Dr. Ben Derover. So after Dr. Ben Derover gives me his card, he then says to me, he goes, I really need to take a leak, but that would mean I'd have to walk all the way over there to that bathroom. Do you mind if I just go over here in the corner? And so at that point, I just started like rounding the dogs up to leave. Um, I'm going to take more of that sumptuous olive color just on the tip of the shading brush, and I'm going to run it um, just underneath the lash line here. But it's like I don't, I don't get it, man. Like, was he trying to get lucky, or was he trying to pimp his book, or both, or what? Like, it's the dog park. There's like families and stuff there. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's Vegas and all, but. There's place, times and places for that. So, anyway, I don't know what that was about. But we have seen him there a lot after that. And I've noticed him going up to just girls that are there by themselves alone. And I can see him handing his car. He's, like, passing his cards out to these girls. And it's just, oh, it's just so bad. Oh, man. It's bad, bad, bad. Um, okay, I'm going to take this color here in the shade Patina on a pencil brush and I'm just going to run this along the inner um, corner of the bottom lid there. It's a little bit lighter but it's in the same kind of vein of color, you know what I mean? In fact it's not really doing much here so I might go with something like um, anything too gold. Yeah, I'm going to take woodwinked, a little bit of woodwinked. Same brush. That's showing up a bit better. Um, okay, now I think I want to do something a little bit rosier through the crease. So I'm going to take this one here from Makeup Geek in the shade, I think that's Cupcake. The Cupcake? Yes, cupcake. And it's just a really pretty, like, rosy, like, rosy mauve kind of color. And I'm taking a um, Makeup Geek Soft Dome brush. It's just kind of a pointed dome, domed brush. And I'm going to run that through the crease and kind of, like, blend out where the olive color meets the transition color there. And this will just kind of add a little bit more rosiness to that crease area. In fact, I haven't seen that guy lately. I wonder if someone got mad at him about perving out on their wife or sister or girlfriend or something and said something to him. I don't know. Too funny. Back to that really fluffy brush and um, I'm going to take Nothing, actually. I'm just going to take whatever's left on there, and I'm going to try to 
blend out the edges a little bit more and soften that up. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla on the tip. Go back over the brow and that'll kind of help to blend out that edge there while also re-highlighting the brow. Cool. All right, now I'm going to take this pencil here from Kat Von D. This is the Tattoo Eraser. Yeah, Tattoo Eraser. So this is meant for tattoos to kind of trace over the, the tattoos. Um, it's like a really pale, like kind of lavender pinky color and you trace over the tattoos the really dark spots and it kind of cancels out the blueiness I guess and then you can cover it with the concealer but I'm just using this on my waterline because I like the color it's just a really pale light pale pink pinky lilac so I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl I'm using the Shu Umura lash curlers Okay, and then I'm going to first prime my lashes with this primer here from Estee Lauder. This is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer, and I freaking love that stuff, you guys. Um, I bought this so long ago. This is when you know you have a makeup problem, when you buy stuff, when you buy so much stuff and then you forget you even have it and you don't even use it. But um, I've placed myself on restrictions since the last haul sale, so I've been going through my stash and seeing what I got and... I forgot I had this, so um, I really love this, though, you guys. It really does a great job at priming your lashes. I mean, it's a big difference. I mean, my lashes look a lot better after I've used this first than they did, um, or than they do without it. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is almost done. It's starting to dry out. So I finally caved and bought a tube of that Benefit Roller Lash because it just seemed like everybody on the face of the earth was using that and ramming it down our throats. You too. Man, Benefit's technique, I think, is actually kind of effective because I really felt like every single YouTuber was just Benefit Roller Lash, Benefit Roller Lash, Benefit Roller Lash. And finally I was like, all right, I'll buy it. And I finally bought it. And um, it's all right. I like it. I don't think it's... The be all and end all. What do you guys think? Do you feel like Benefit Roller Lash was rammed down your throats? Bottom lashes. I'm using my Clinique Lash Power mascara, like always. So I'm gonna have to like get down real low, and it might be out of shot. So I apologize, but I just I really need to get close to the mirror to apply this. But ah! oh man, I dropped that. You guys, there is dog hair all over this wand. What am I going to do? All right, so I'm going to take this, like, baby wipey, and I'm going to try to wipe the brush. Yeah, that worked. Seems okay. Um, now what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so now I'm going to, let's warm up the face a little bit. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Palette. Um, I'm not really into contouring these, these days, you guys, my cheeks, because I'm already kind of hollow cheeked. And when I start to contour, it just makes me look more gaunt. So I am going to contour a little bit under the jawline here, because I don't have a very pronounced jaw, and I'm using that mid, middle, bleh, the middle color for that one, the one in the middle. I think it's in the shade Fawn, I believe is what it's called. So just under there, make it look like I have a chin. Then I'm going to do a little bit under the bottom lip here, like that. Then I'm going to pinch the brush and then I'm going to um, do the sides of the nose a little bit. I won't overdo it like I did in the other video. It should be a bit more subtle. La la. Mm -hmm. 
And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to warm it up with these two colors here and just mix them. I'm on a mission to hit pan on this, you guys. I feel like I've had it a while. And like it's like I haven't even put a dent in it and I've been using it every day. You know? So I'm putting it a little bit higher up on the cheeks just to kind of warm me up. But I'm not really putting it in that hollow because I'm already hollow. Now for blush, I'm going to use Warm Soul by MAC. I just bought this recently and I dig it, guys. I really do. It's, it's subtle but natural, you know what I mean? And it does come up. See, it's there. You can see it. It's a really pretty color. And for lips, I think I'm going to do, what is this? What do I have here? Um, so I've got Naked Lip Liner. Is this Naked? No, this is Wallflower. Urban Decay Lip Liner in Wallflower. I don't know if they still have this, actually. I haven't seen it lately. And we will highlight a little bit. Let's put, um, I'm just using the shimmery highlight here in the palette. I'm going to put some on the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow. Uh, oh, I forgot to do inner corner highlight. That's like super important. I forgot. Let's do that real quick. Um, got this little elf brush here. No biggie. And back into my MAC palette, I'm going to take, so this is a daytime look, so we don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to take a little bit of rice paper here. It's just um, a really um, pale yellowy goldy color, but it's not quite as frosty as nylon. So this will just brighten it up just a little bit and give you a nice little glow there. Let's put a little down the bridge of the nose. Just there. I'm dropping everything. I just totally dropped that brush. Okay, back in with the Anastasia palette, and I'm going to take a little bit of that shimmery color there, and I forgot to highlight, so I'm just going to add a little bit here. See? Can you see? Then... One final thing, I'm going to take my Too Faced No Filter Selfie Powder. I'm going to take the yellow one in the shade Sunrise just to finish everything off because I find that this helps to kind of blend everything out a little bit and use um, like Wayne Goss's buffing technique and that's kind of cool. And it also um, blurs out the pores really well. So I love that about it and it just makes your skin look really smooth, you know? If you've already got really smooth skin, then you won't appreciate this at all. But if you've got pores or if you've got texture, then you will definitely appreciate this powder. So anyway, am I in focus? So anyways, you guys, that's it. Um, that's finished look. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.